Good morning, happy Wednesday. So today I am working from home just so that I can get back into work um, and then I'll go into the office tomorrow. I honestly don't feel too bad working today because when I take too much time off, I get bored. So I'm actually kind of happy to get back into work. I'm just finishing off a little iced coffee. It is 9.50, I have my first meeting in 10 minutes, and then I have one other meeting this afternoon and I just have a bunch of work to catch up on. Just checking in on like where things are at and what happened when I was away. And then I, before I went away, there was a couple of items that I knew that I was gonna have to get done on Wednesday. So it'll be kind of a busy one, but I'm just taking it easy working from home. And then tomorrow is gonna be busy at the office and then tomorrow night, we are going to, one of my coworkers set up a private shopping night at this store, Cotton. You may know of the brand. I don't know, I wasn't super familiar with it. I don't have anything from Cotton, um, except we did our merch um, at work. We did some merch on Cotton sweaters. So I do own one of those, but it's like a merch thing. But um, it opened up in Inglewood and um, some of my coworkers went to the grand opening and that looked really nice, but um, yeah, we set up like a private shopping night. So we'll go to that tomorrow night. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything. If I do, I'll let you know. It kind of looks like up my alley, like it's like kind of elevated basics. I think that maybe they're sustainable, but anyways, I will definitely show you some of that when I go. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be a fun day tomorrow. And then coming up on the weekend, something I'm looking forward to is, I think I've mentioned this before, but my sister is pregnant again and they are going to do a gender reveal with us on the weekend. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I have my two nephews already. Both of my sisters each have a son. So I've got two nephews and then one sister is pregnant again. So I'm either gonna have another nephew or we're gonna have our first little girl and then I would have my first niece. So either one will be amazing and I'm just really looking forward to that. And then on Sunday I have a massage. So things are looking good. Um, Mac is still sick with a cold, which I feel really bad about. So I'm like kind of taking care of him. Oh, the roasted tomato soup that I put in the last vlog was so good. I'm so happy that I made that. And with the grilled cheese, it was like, it was so good. I can't even get over it. So highly recommend that one. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go and just get set up for my meeting and really get into some work. My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. And it was in this field that I came upon a clue. I want to describe my discovery in the simplest terms possible because it will reveal to you why it is true. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. So I tried to give myself a blowout and it didn't turn out half bad. I've been trying to figure out how to do a blowout on myself for a long time and I just can't seem to get the hang of it, but I really tried. I took my time, I watched some tutorials on TikTok and YouTube and like overall I'm pretty happy. Um, I obviously there's some parts like especially kind of like up here that are a little bit curly and not quite smooth But I have curly hair, so I don't know what is to be expected of me. I'll show you this way I haven't put any like oil or anything to kind of smooth it down, but I Think I did a good job Like I really love how the ends are like that all like flipped out so we'll see how it looks when I wake up tomorrow but I feel like no matter what this is like a good base to be starting with I washed my hair obviously um, I'm a little bit off my hair washing schedule because I usually wash them on a Sunday but I washed it last Wednesday so today was Wednesday so my hair just like needed it and because I'm going to the office tomorrow going to an event I just wanted fresh hair so I washed it but I might have to get back onto the schedule by washing it again on Sunday but I feel like this is a good base for um starting off with clean hair like tomorrow I'll probably take a flat iron kind of fix it up and kind of wear it in like a blowout style and then maybe as the week goes on I can add some curls into it to like make it last longer but anyways feeling like I did a 7 out of 10 job. 
Hi cuties. I'm going to the office today. Um, it's actually a beautiful fall day. You can actually wear fall clothing. But I'm going to stop at Starbucks on the way to get myself a little coffee. And then I brought some roasted tomato soup for lunch. But that won't be enough, just soup. So, I'm gonna see what Starbucks has. I feel like they don't have much, but like, maybe I could do like a, it's so windy. Maybe I could do like a croissant. Ideally, I would have like some protein uh, with something, with my soup, but I just don't know. I just don't know if that's gonna happen. So I'll settle with what I can get. So let's take a look at the app and see what's up. Mac is really sick right now. He just has a cold, but like he's coughing a lot and I feel bad because he's definitely more sick than I was. But it's good for me to get out of the house because it's not that fun being around a sick person. Just cause like, I don't know, he's not his normal self. He's not his normal goofy self. <laughs> Why was that so embarrassing for me to say? He's not his normally normal goofy self. Okay, let's take a look. Also, my hair turned out pretty good. It's like a little bit curlier than I would like, or like it just feels not as like smooth and straight. But again, I have really curly hair, so I just don't think that that style of like really sleek and straight and then like flipped out at the bottom, I just don't think that my hair would be able to do that. But yeah, I fixed it up with a flat iron more so. I didn't touch the bottoms because I didn't want to mess up the little flippies. But at the top where there was like some curls, um, I just fixed it up a little bit. Okay, so let's order from Starbucks. I've been kind of not happy with what I've been ordering from Starbucks. When I was in Winnipeg, I ordered all kinds of stuff and I didn't like any of it. <laughs> so I feel like I might just do an Americano Misto and I've been doing like pumpkin this whole month, but I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of not over it, but I just don't feel like that. So I might do just like vanilla or hazelnut, something like that. So I'm gonna do, oh, I could do a bagel with my soup. Hmm, that might be good. Although I remember ordering a bagel Last time and it was so expensive from Starbucks. It was like, what? Okay, so I'm gonna do Americano Misto. So I do a Grande Americano Misto. Oh, also when I was in Winnipeg, I got an Americano, a Grande Americano Misto and I was really tired. So I got them to add an extra shot, but I didn't realize that it already came with three shots. So when I got it, it said quad and I was like, I need to cut back on my caffeine. I, I've been drinking a lot of caffeine. A system error has occurred. No, 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 it cannot be. Oh no. Okay, besties, we might have to go in. I hate going into order. It's just always so chaotic. The Marta Loop Starbucks is so busy, but it's just saying system error. Okay, guess we'll have to go talk to a real human. Update, I got an everything bagel with herb and garlic cream cheese. I feel like that'll be a nice little lunch. I think I did good. And then I got an Americano Misto with two pumps of hazelnut. Hazelnut is my favorite syrup that's not like pumpkin or like any holiday stuff. Oh my God, the holiday drinks are gonna be coming soon. Time is just flying by. I actually can't believe that it isn't even Halloween yet. I feel like I've done a lot of fall stuff and it just feels like it's already been Halloween, but it has not. I'm so excited to see my nephews in their Halloween costumes.
after I finished up my work day, I went and got my nails just removed. I am so sick of being disappointed in getting my nails done and spending so much money and then just like not liking them. So I just went and got everything removed. Um, it was a whole ordeal, honestly. Uh, yeah, and I just feel like I need to start doing my own nails so that I can be in control of them and I can save some money because it really is really expensive and so if you're not happy with it then like and I just kept on every time I came back from getting my nails done Mac would be like how to go and I'd be like I don't like them and I just feel like I need to if I'm not happy I need to make a change so anyways now I'm going to go to Chinook to pick up my sunglasses that are ready from Oscar Wiley. I'm excited to see them. I hope that they fit so that I can like take them both home today. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go pick those up. They were ready a couple days ago, but I just didn't feel like going over to the mall. It felt kind of busy to be able to go over there during the work week. So um, I'm going on a Friday evening and then I'll come home and then I'm gonna make us some pasta for dinner. Mac is still feeling pretty sick. So he has just been laying low at home. I feel bad for him because he said that he's pretty bored. Um, and yeah, it just sucks being sick. So it's probably going to be a really chill evening. Um, and yeah, I kind of felt, I worked from home today and I felt like I needed to like get out and do something. That's why I decided to go to the mall and get my sunglasses. I might look around a little bit, but I'm not planning to do any major shopping. We'll see if anything like really stands out to me, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to keep my spending in check this month. It's October 21st, and I think I've spent around $2,500 so far. And obviously at the beginning of the month, I buy my rent. So um, like the biggest expenses are behind me, but I'm trying to get under that $4,000 mark because the past couple of months, maybe like the past three months, I've spent over $4,000, which is a little bit too high for me. I'm way more comfortable around the $3,000 mark. So um yeah if in the next 10 days i can only spend a thousand dollars now that i think about it i'm like damn i should be able to do that that's a hundred dollars a day isn't it yeah a hundred dollars a day i should be able to do it i don't know but it's hard you never know like i it's hard to predict like what kind of bills or expenses are going to come up i mean i'm sure i could go in and try and predict it for the next 10 days but it's easier said than done to keep your expenses low and things add up really quickly like $20 here, $20 there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my goal. So we'll see in my October what I spent in a month if I was able to stay under the $4,000, but I'm really hoping that I can do that. So if I find something at the mall, I wanna keep it like under, under $100, you know? So yeah, let's go to the mall. I almost got out of there without buying anything, but alas, I did buy one thing. But first, let me show you my sunglasses. So these were kindly gifted to me by Oscar Wiley. I had a great experience going into the shop there. I would highly recommend them. And I'm just so happy now that I have glasses that are actually protective and good for my eyes because the ones that I wear all the time that y'all see me wearing all the time, I love the look of them, but they're literally from Amazon. They're like $10. I just don't think that they're doing what they need to do for my eyes. So this is the first pair. They're a little bit loose actually. No, I think they're good. It's so hard to know, you know? But anyways, I like the look of these. And then the next pair, these ones are a bit more like fashion-y. I don't know. The other pair is like, oh, I like the case too. It's like really nice. I feel like these are more like kind of everyday. These kind of look like the ones that I have, but yeah, I'm happy with them. So that's what I got from Oscar Wiley. And then I was walking by Nespresso and I wanted to go and get some more pumpkin spice cake because I really like that one. But I went in and they said they are done for the season, which I thought was rude because it isn't even Halloween yet. She said that they had their Christmas flavors out. So I was like, okay, well maybe I'll get some of those. So I ended up getting, I couldn't even really tell you. Um, this one is called Infinima Gourmet. Infinite, oh, I just read the French one. Infinite, infinitely Gourmet. 
and it's just regular coffee um, I usually do an iced coffee but I've been like with the pumpkin spice cake I was liking having the hot coffee and this one has hazelnut flavor um, top notes of praline and delicate vanilla flavor vanilla flavor I feel like that would be really good and then there was another one that caught my attention this is the double espresso and doesn't really tell me the notes sweet cereal vibrant red fruit and woody notes it doesn't really sound like I'd like it anyways um I know like Nespresso coffee is like pretty expensive but I got four so I got four sleeves and I was like oh in my head I was like oh it'll be like thirty dollars fifty dollars I was like excuse me ma'am she just like turned it over to me and I was like fifty what so I guess that's like a little bit over a dollar coffee, which is actually good because if you went to Starbucks, like I do all the time, it would be a lot more than that. But I just was caught off guard by my own choices. Once again, just filled up gas and it was $67. Hello from a winter wonderland. The weather has taken a turn for the worst, to say the least. It snowed so much last night, and I'm just trekking to the gym now. So I'm just getting ready to go over to my sister's place. It's been a good day so far. I actually slept in until 11, which I guess was needed. And then I went to the gym and that was good. And then came home, had a shower. What else did I do? Oh, um, I stopped at Blush Lane to get some ingredients for a salad because my sister asked me to bring a salad because we're gonna have pizza. So I wanted to do like a fall salad and originally I wanted to do butternut squash and I thought I could just get like the cut up cubes or like the little swirlies but they didn't have any so then I was like okay well maybe I didn't want to cut a butternut squash myself because that shit is so hard. Um, so then I was like okay maybe I'll do sweet potato so I bought one and then it ended up being white on the inside and I just do not like those like I just find them to be like so much more starchy. So I was disappointed about that, but I roasted it anyways. And then I just got greens, goat cheese. I had some walnuts, so I roasted those. And then what else? Oh, I got an apple that I'll cut up once I get to my sister's. And then I made like a balsamic vinaigrette. So I think that will be nice. But um, yeah, I'm so excited because I get to find out the gender of my niece or nephew. And I just can't wait. I think it's gonna be a girl. Here's a little backstory. On both sides of my family, there are no boys. All of the boys like married in, obviously my dad and grandpa, grandpas, um, but they've passed away. <laughs> but like my uncles all married in. I have like only girl cousins, like aunts. Um, and they're just, when we got the two boys, like when we got Liam and Malcolm, we were shocked because we thought that we would be getting girls or at least like one girl, but both of them were boys. So I think it's gonna be a girl. And that would be so fun because that would be my first niece. However, it would also be fun if it was a boy because then I would have three nephews. So whatever it is, obviously we'll love it just the same, but it is just kind of a fun thing. Last time my sister got donuts and it was like the jelly or I think it was like icing inside was like, was blue. Um, I think we might be doing the same but I haven't gotten confirmation on that yet. So I think it's gonna be donuts again. So that's really fun. I remember Mac bit into his and like, he didn't bite far enough and so he didn't get like the icing. And so he had to look around and see like when other people got to theirs, but we're also gonna face FaceTime my mom in. So I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup, obviously. And I picked up some non-alcoholic GNTs from Blush Line as well because they were on sale two for $4, which is amazing. Like $2 for a drink instead of like, $15 for a cocktail when you go out, fine by me. Oh, 
Um, what else can I tell you? Um, snowed a lot today. I think I'm gonna wear my new vest tonight. I always do this thing where I buy something new and I save it for like a special occasion. And I wanna stop doing that because like every day should be a special occasion, you know? Like you don't have to wait to wear like the nice thing or like to, you know, open the bottle of wine or whatever. Like you should just enjoy your life. So I think I'm gonna wear it tonight. I think that will be cute. I don't think that we'll have too late of a night. Um, just like pretty casual dinner and the gender reveal. Anyways, I'll check in with you a little bit later. Okay, there was way more snow on my car than I thought that there was gonna be. It was like this much snow on my car. So, and I feel bad, cause like half of it's on the street, half of it's on the sidewalk, and the sidewalk was like cleared. So like in that instance, what am I supposed to do? Like where am I supposed to put the snow? There was so much. And I'm worried that I'm not even getting people to get out of my spot because I just made like a little bank around around my car so let's see but anyways i'm going to a massage okay let's go little buddy i'm going to a massage i usually let's go let's go okay we got it we got it i usually walk there but it's like a winter wonderland so i didn't want to do that um but yeah holy cow snow and i'm wearing my new outdoor voices fleece I love it so much, I love the color. I was gonna get black and then I figured, go ahead, go ahead. And then I figured that I would get something fun. So I got this nice color. I always have a discount code for Outdoor Voices. I'll link it down below. But um, anyways, I should probably focus on the road because it is pretty crazy out here. So I'll catch you in a bit. I just had the most wonderful massage. You can still see the little line here. It was honestly so relaxing. And ever since I started working out again, my muscles like really need the massage. So it felt amazing. And my nose didn't bleed like the last time that I was there. If you know, you know. So yeah, this is your reminder that if you have benefits, check in to see if you still have any left. Like use up your massages, use up your physio, your acupuncture, whatever it is that you need before the end of the year. So that is what I'm doing. Um, when I was in my massage, I was thinking about all of these things that I wanted to tell you guys. Oh yeah, gender reveal last night was amazing. Um, she, My sister still has a few people that she needs to tell, so I can't tell y'all um, what she's having just yet, so maybe in next week's vlog, but it was really enjoyable and just so exciting to find out. What else? I had all of this stuff in my head and now it's just poof, gone. Huh, well one thing was, I feel like this vlog has mainly been in my car I don't know why that is. I think maybe because Mac has been home pretty much all week because he's been sick. And sometimes I'll vlog when he's around at home, but usually it's a little bit more convenient when I'm there alone. So I think that's why I haven't really vlogged at home. Um, and I was gonna ask, whenever I go out and about, I always try and get video clips to put into my vlogs like montage style with music over top. And then I also have been like pushing myself recently to try and vlog and like talk to the camera more, not necessarily in public, but like, you know, when I'm walking to the gym or when I'm walking in some place, just because I feel like the people that I watch, like vloggers that I watch, watch, I like it when there's like a mix of them vlogging in private, so like in their car or at home, and then, you know, clips of what they're doing. And then also little clips where they're like, 
talking to the camera or like doing stuff and they're like in in public you know and I know that that's it's honestly really hard to do because it feels like embarrassing and if ever someone's like looking at me it is like kind of embarrassing but I think that that's what makes it kind of special is that because it's a little bit embarrassing a lot of people won't do it so anyways I just wanted to know if you actually like that like do you want <laughs> to see more of me out and about um is it worth for me to like kind of push myself so that if I'm like you know in public do you want to see what's going on just let me know in the comments because if you like it I'll keep doing it but if you're like nah I could do without it then I won't embarrass myself um yesterday I was looking into my finances and I was kind of just mapping out um, my investments for the rest of the year and I realized that I have already over contributed to both my TFSA and RRSP so this is also your reminder to check in on that. <laughs> um, if you're Canadian, you know what TFSA and RRSP are. They're basically just like investment or they're, they're accounts, but they're like vehicles for investments where you have some tax savings on them, but you only have a certain amount. And I have over invested on both. I think for the RRSP, you're able to invest up to $2,000 extra without any penalty, like over your lifetime, which... I shouldn't have done but I don't think I'll get like a tax penalty on that but for my TFSA I'm pretty sure you get a tax penalty of 1% of the investment that was over your limit for every month that it was over invested so I'm anticipating a little bit of a tax bill it shouldn't be crazy like I didn't over invest by a lot maybe by a couple thousand dollars but that being said I stopped my auto investments for the rest of the year um, when you max out your TFSA and RRSP, you can go ahead and invest in like a taxable investment account, which I do have some, but I think that at this point, I'm really happy with the progress that I've been able to make. I'm, I maxed out my TFSA way earlier in the year, so then I switched to only investing in my RRSP, but I think I just thought that I had so much room that I didn't have to keep track of it, but I did because I've overinvested, which obviously I'm really happy that I was able to invest so much money, but please check in on that. So I think for next year, when tax season comes, I need to be a little bit more deliberate about, okay, how much room do I have in both? How am I able to max, max them out? How much auto investments do I need to have every month? And then like set it and forget it and just not overextend myself in the way where like, if I'm maxing out my TFSA and RSP, like I'm really happy with that. And so I can use the money that is coming in for like other things. Like you know, building up my emergency fund. My emergency fund is $10,000 right now, but that would only carry me for like three months. So I could build that up and I could also start um, saving for like a new car or like a house or whatever. Like I can start utilizing that money for other savings that it's intended to be spended, not spended, spent, not invested. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna head home now. I have a couple things I want to do today. I have some TikToks I need to film. I'm going to edit this vlog and publish it. I'm gonna make some, for dinner, I'm gonna make some like Korean style beef in the slow cooker and we'll have it with rice and green beans. What else did I need to do? Again, when I was in my massage, I was trying to be like, just be present, just be present, just relax, but... I can't do that. So I was thinking about all the stuff that I needed to do. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good week. So hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. We're almost at a thousand subscribers and we are almost monetized. So I'm really looking forward to that. And thank you for contributing to that goal of mine. I really appreciate it. Also give this video a like and comment down below, especially I want to know what types of clips you like to see in vlogs. I would really appreciate if you let me know. So bye.